I almost have no words for what I'm about to tell you. This story is so wild that it almost doesn't seem real. This man, 57-year-old Tim Freedy, voluntarily let venomous snakes bite him 200 times to help develop what might become the world's first universal anti-venom. Tim allows a black mamba, which can kill within the hour, to bite his left arm, and then immediately after lets a taipan bite his right arm. And then he just pieces out like it's no big deal. Over 18 years, Tim has methodically injected himself with more than 650 carefully measured doses of venom, gradually increasing the amounts to build his immunity up against 16 deadly snake species. His bravery, question mark, could help help solve a major global health issue. Snake bites are a big deal. They affect 2.7 million people annually, leaving 400,000 with permanent disabilities. But more important to this story, snake bites are a major health issue because if you're not familiar, our current anti-venom options kind of suck. The method for developing anti-venom hasn't changed in over a century. Inject a small amount of venom into a horse, camel, or sheep, then harvest the antibodies they produce. The problem? These antibodies only work against one or a few related snakes from the same region. But that's not the only problem. Taking anti-venom can be a little bit like playing Russian roulette because sometimes the anti-venom is worse than the actual snake bite itself because it can cause a severe allergic reaction called anaphylaxis. And that allergic reaction can be either immediate or delayed, which is where the problem lies. If you catch it right away, it's totally fine. It's easily treatable. If it's delayed, you may not be in the hospital and it can be fatal. Why? Because all antivenoms are not human derived until now. Scientists identified two powerful antibodies in Freedy's blood that can neutralize venom from up to 19 different snake species, a major step toward creating a truly universal antivenom. This is absolutely mind-blowing for a few reasons. Each snake species has their own distinct blend, if you will, of toxins, and their venom can change depending on the snake's diet, age, and even the time of year. So developing a universal antivenom that is able to take all of that into account seemed like an impossible task. But this study published in Cell suggests that an antivenom derived from Freedy's blood could successfully prevent injuries and deaths from all snake families. I'm currently in talks with Mr. Freedy to have him on the channel, so stay tuned.